Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. Welcome to my channel. So, what's up, Capricorn? If you're new for the first time, welcome, 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 and thank you so much for checking me out. I hope that you go ahead and rock with your girl. Like and subscribe to my channel. We're growing over here. I have a goal I'm trying to reach by the end of um, February, so that's a couple more days. So, if you're rocking with me, go ahead and subscribe before you leave off this channel. For those that have been rocking with me, y'all already know what it is. Y'all know I love you guys. I know lots of Capricorn. I rock with y'all's health. Thank you for the support. You guys were once again in the top three to show me the most love. So, thank you guys. I love you so much. So, I don't know what I can do for you extra, guys. I don't know. Leave it in the comments below. I'm trying to get some interaction with y'all. Go ahead and give me some interaction, okay? So, um... <laughs> Capricorns, um, these are general readings, right? The first card that came out, keep an open mind. We're not going to take it because we're going to go ahead and cut the deck. But your soulmate may differ from your unusual. So your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Absolutely, guys. Okay. So with that card, guys, I always say that if the same thing you're going for is not working for you, that you need to change it up so that you can get somebody that can be the one. Okay. So, you've already met the person that you seek, okay? So, some of you guys already met your boo, all right? <laughs> and it's a soulmate. It's a soulmate connection, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. So, you guys, it's beautiful so far. Let's go ahead and um, cut the cards. Y'all know that these are general readings, so please only take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, go ahead and leave it for the other Capricorn that needs to hear that message. Um... Come rock with your girl on Instagram, okay? Evolving Goddess 444. Right now at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take jumpers. Don't be freaking out, but it does say unrequited love. All right, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that just talks about, you know, foundations, okay? Making sure that the foundations are solid so that the attraction can, you know, ha have that flow. But that might just be for somebody, you know, if you're staying in a relationship that you're not getting emotionally fulfilled and you know you, you got to walk away from those things okay so that you can get your soulmate all right so once again at the bottom of the deck keep an open mind guys that one is making their appearance you may have a certain type guys you may need to go ahead and change it up a little bit all right or just keep an open mind so even if you're already in a relationship guys keep an open mind like don't think you're always right let your boo talk to you every once in a while okay <laughs> And so let's go ahead and ask Spirit for three cards, please, for our Capricorns, um, single Capricorns, Capricorns in love. It doesn't matter. What do they need to know about their love life, please, Spirit? What messages can we give them, Capricorn? And this is February 23rd, right, through March 2nd. <laughs> All right, I'm required to love, guys. That one made its appearance. So once again, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So we'll see what the tarot has to say about that. But... Um, some of you guys, that, that kind of talks a little bit too about cat and mouse, right? That just came to mind. So, you know, the runner chaser, some, some, some of you guys might be excited by that and I get it, but you know, we talk about foundations, having a solid foundation for your relationship when you're talking about long term, right? Do you want to, do you want to play that game for the rest of your life, guys? Okay. So spirit, can I have two more cards, please, for our Capricorn? What do they need to know about their love life to spirit? Y'all. Spirit like y'all get one card. I'm required to love. <laughs> there we go. One more, please, spirit. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> but release your ex, guys. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, okay? Now, once again, that could speak to physically releasing your ex or if you're in a relationship, releasing old energy, right? If you're trying to allow new love in, whether it be a renewed love or just a new love in general, you guys, it's so important to make sure that you are releasing the old, okay? All right, let's see if... So bottom of the deck, guys, <laughs> pay attention to red flags, okay? So the signs are cautioning you. This one kind of wants to stick out, so I did take it very soon, okay? Um, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And soulmate, right? I don't know if this one came out, um, but I, it just makes me excited because, yes, this is your soulmate. So you guys, um, some of you guys need to relate, uh, to release the ex, okay, because there is unrequited love, right? This might be a, a game of cat and mouse, or there just may not be enough attraction there. 
um, the chemistry might be there, but the foundation and the relationship may not be sufficient, okay? Some of you guys need to really decide what it is that you want so that you can call in your soulmate, right? So if your energy level is not as high as that of your soulmate, your soulmate is going to overlook you, okay? So this is really about you kind of analyzing and releasing old energy that is not in your highest good and recognizing what it is that you want so that you can call in that soulmate, okay? All right, sorry, guys. <laughs> So, um, sorry about that, guys. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. So, we are going to go ahead and pull from the tarot and see what we have, what additional messages we have for you guys. Um, but overall, it looks like there are just kind of two split energies. Some of you guys need to release the X so that you can allow your um, soulmate to come in. Or some of you guys are in a relationship, and yes, this is your soulmate, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get it. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, Spirit, can I have three cards, please, for our Capricorns? What do they need to know about their love life? February 23rd through March 2nd. All right, guys. All right, so right now at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Strength card, okay? So, guys, could be, it might be taking a lot of strength. You guys could be going through something right now, right? Taking a lot of strength for you to overcome it. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, okay? So this is all about you guys, okay? Um, some of you guys could be really focusing on your money right now, but some of you guys are kind of standing at a good place because you are coming out of recent heartbreak or recent disappointment, right? The Three of Swords is underneath the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a matter of exactly what it says, right? And very soon decide what it is that you want so that you can get it, right? So this is, I feel like, you kind of stepping into your power, letting go, right? Releasing the X energy, releasing those relationships that were not for your highest good. And this is you kind of standing in your power, right? So you can call in your soulmate. So like I said, some of you guys could really be financially kind of independent right now, focusing on your finances. But others of you are like really stepping into your power and you guys are really understanding your worth, understanding what it is that you want, right? You're planning for the future, but you're like, you know what? I'm kind of happy where I'm at right now, but I am calling in my boo, right? I do know what he looks like, he or she looks like, and I'm kind of just waiting for the universe to go ahead and give that to me. Now, if that's not you, some of you guys need to go ahead and embody this energy, right? Because this is all about you putting yourself first before you can add to the family or before somebody can come into you, right? She's standing in her own power. All right, some of you guys though are getting promotions. I know this is love reading, but it's about money, right? Pentacles, money. <laughs> All right, so some of you guys are getting a love offer, a page of cups. Some of you guys are getting an apology. Some of you guys have that love offer coming in, and it's because you stood in your power, right? You stood in your power, and you have that love offer coming in for you guys. Now, others of you, this is about you standing in your power. And whenever I see the page of cups to me, like, because there's one cup, and one cup to me is my self-love card, it kind of represents self-love. So this is a matter of you kind of leaving those relationships behind and loving yourself, standing in your power, so that you can once again call in that soulmate, okay? Because new opportunities are here. This is beautiful, guys. This is all about you releasing the past memories, past um, past energies, anything negative. Because this is all beautiful. You guys may have an, uh, a new relationship coming in, right? Because it's at the beginning stages. Or this is somebody coming back apologizing and wanting a brand new passion to start with you guys after some kind of healing, right? After you've kind of released that old energy, right? And you stood in your power, so king of pentacles, right? So first of all, some of you guys might really be focused on money because this is your sign, right? King of pentacles. Um, but nonetheless, this is also somebody coming in to apologize, right? He may, he or she may be a Capricorn or an earth sign, right? But whoever this is that's coming into you, they want a new passion in the beginning and it's practical. It's grounded, right? It's going to be exactly like everything that you wanted, right? Because the king of pentacles, he's a... Um, He's like a go-getter, but he is a family guy. Like, he takes care of the home. He takes care of the family, right? He knows what he wants. He plans for his future. So this is like, if this is not anybody coming into your life, this is you, right? This is you. Like, I know what I want, okay? I know what I'm going after. I have this vision on what it looks like for me. I want this new passion and beginning, and I want this love that's going to grow, right? Because at the page stage, as long as it's nurtured, right, it will grow, 
So some of you guys have love offer coming in, but there is a need for you to release something. But others of you are just really kind of focusing, standing in your power. You're, you, this, I know it's about love, but some of this is about money. Some of you guys have um, a new passionate love in something else, right? And it could be something financially, okay? And even if that's the case, guys, there is a need for you to kind of really analyze what is it that you want. Because if you're saying you want love, but you're so focused on money, you know what I'm saying? You have to be able to allow your soulmate to be able to see you. I know I got dark really fast, guys, but I can't. I can't get up. I can't get up. Can I get up? Right, let me get up one second. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> All right. So I hope the lighting is a little bit better. But um, I forgot where I, where I left off at. But that's okay. We're going to keep on rocking with it anyway. Now, one thing I will say, though, some of you guys with the Page of Cups, okay, the Page of Cups, she is also waiting. So some of you guys are waiting for a new passionate beginning with somebody who embraces these energies, okay? Capricorn, about his money, a business owner, practical, father figure, okay? Takes care of the home, all right? So some of you guys are waiting for that opportunity, okay? But this person may be focused on money, all right? They may be focused on money, and this is a need for you to kind of focus on yourself, okay? So if this person is so focused on money that you're not getting the love that you want, then it's unrequited, right? And that means that there is a need for you to go ahead and step into your own power and release those energies and really call and decide what does love look like to you? Okay. Because yeah, some of you guys are waiting on a love offer. Some of you guys are waiting on a patch or um, a, an apology, right? So that you can have this new beginning. But let's get some more cards, guys. Yeah, Five of Cups. So some of you guys are definitely waiting, okay? So the Five of Cups talks about, you know, what you are kind of like focused on the past, right? You're focused on the past and you're wanting this new opportunity or you're waiting for something, right? You were hurt in the past and you're kind of focusing on that and you're not allowing this new opportunity to come in. So this is where it's really like about visualizing your future and really deciding what it is that future looks like. Because once you've made that decision to live in the future and not live in the past, then that's when you're able to turn around, okay? You're t you turn around and you do get that love offer, okay? Whether that be with this person or with somebody else, but for as long as you're kind of soaking in that energy of what didn't work out, you know what? You're, you're kind of missing out on this love, this ace of wands, this new passion and beginning with somebody. So the Five of Cups talks about, you know, being able to look at things from a different perspective, okay? The Fives always talk about changes, so um, kind of accepting what it, what it, accepting things for what they are, okay? Um, and, and moving forward, right? And moving forward, finding out what does love look like for you, whether it be with this relationship or with somebody else. But yeah, some of you guys are definitely waiting, and some of you guys are a little bit disappointed because you have not gotten that love offer or that apology, all right? So the key to the five of cups is to go ahead and focus on yourself, right? Go ahead and focus on yourself so that you can get those two cups to come into you, okay? I'm oh, sorry, guys. I was upside down. All right. So eight of pentacles, okay? Eight of pentacles. So ace of wands and eight of pentacles. Some of you guys, some of you guys really are focusing on yourself. Some of you guys got a new passion and beginning in a job or, or like some something that is bringing more money to you bringing more some, some of you guys are getting money coming in okay um or or whoever this this whoever this um person is that you want to be getting with they are so focused on their money they are so focused on their money that's why the relationship is unrequited because you may be wanting certain things and they're not giving it to you they're not giving it to you because they're focused on their money and that may be the reason why you need to go ahead and release it that may be the reason why you're kind of sitting here sad a little bit, wanting something, but it's not coming in. I mean, so for some of you guys, it could have been a third-party situation or just, a, when I say third-party, guys, it can mean anybody. It doesn't have to be a sexual partner, but it can mean anybody who was interfering in a relationship that caused the, the kind of break, right? So some of you guys are waiting for somebody to come back around because there was a third party or another person that was involved in the relationship, okay? 
But yeah, a lot of you guys are, or not a lot of you guys, but some of you guys are just really focused on this new, this new opportunity in love or this new opportunity in business. Yeah, some of you guys are saying maybe that you want love. Some of you guys are saying that you want love, but you're so focused at work and making money that, you know, they're like, the universe is saying like, well, what is it that you want? Because you say you want love, but you have to be able to allow that energy into your life, right? Like open up your heart. But for others of you, this is a new opportunity, right? This is a new passion and love that has come in. There's a lot of passion. There's love. You know, there's balance. There's money. There's stability. There's long term. You know, it's fairness. It's, you know, this is everything that you wanted. And yeah, this is your boo. This is your soulmate, okay? But I feel like it's because you put in the work, right? It's because you put in the work and you attracted exactly what it is that you wanted. So the Hermit card, um, the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Hermit card. This is the hermit card is talking about going within, being balanced. Okay, so with with the King of Pentacles, this is talking about being balanced, being practical, making decisions that are. Um, I mean, it's not the Justice card, but he is. He doesn't really take risk, right? He knows exactly what he wants. He goes after. He's practical. He pays attention to the details, right? Especially with pay attention to the red flags. You're at the bottom of the deck. So you guys may you want to make sure that you're not overlooking something just because you want it so bad. Because a lot of you guys or some of you guys are waiting on it, okay? So the Hermit card, though, it talks about going within, doing some soul searching, right? Evolving your soul. Evolving your soul. So some of you guys just... Um, some of you guys, this was a lesson for you, right? Right? It was a lesson for you to learn so that you can learn to step into your own power, right? It was a lesson for you to learn to love self, right? Because your soul, the soul evolves, right? And then you become more, in, well, I know this is not the king of cups, but he's more balanced. He's more practical, right? He makes decisions that are smart decisions, right? It's like he has that balance. He has a clear vision, and it's like he's the king because he puts himself first and then he's able to make decisions, right? So the hermit card, that's going within. That's following your, you know, kind of using your internal guidance to help you get where it is that you want to go because you want this king of pentacles, whether that be a job, it's love reading, but you're wanting this or you're wanting to move forward, right? You're wanting some kind of offer. So I feel like this is a matter of you kind of really clearly deciding what it is that you want so that it can come to you. Right? Evolving your soul, going inside, you know, spending some time alone. Spending some time alone, guys. Absolutely. Spending some time alone so that you are raising, you are making decisions from your own personal power. Right? With the hermit card. He's not, a, he's not afraid to be alone. And in those moments are when, you know, they make the best decision. <laughs> All right? So, um... Um, one, one thing I am going to say, though, some of you guys, you had a new love coming in. And it's time for you to retreat from the world, right? This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. And um, this is a brand new love offer. There's a lot of passion here. You have done the work to get to attract this relationship. And it's time for you guys to retreat, okay? All right, this is too many cards. We're not going to... We're not going to take all four of those. So let's go ahead and just, um, we'll cut the deck and we'll take two. We'll definitely take two. Yeah, some of you guys too, though, are really focused. Really focused on this new passion and beginning. Um, and there may be a need for you to kind of focus on you. Right, especially clearly decide. Clearly decide, right? All right. Spirit, can I have two cards for our Capricorns, please? What do they need to know about their love life, please? <laughs> have patience, guys. Have patience is at the bottom of the deck, right? So this is a flower that's blossoming, okay? Love is patient and kind always. Absolutely. So clearly decide what that is. If you're waiting for somebody and you're stressed out, guys, go ahead and you know what to do. 
Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. All right, so this is all about you kind of knowing what love is like for you, right? You're wanting love, but I feel like your energy might be a little bit heavy, right? You want this certain type of love, but it's being blocked, right? Your soulmate is not coming back to you because it's on a lower vibration, right? Because you're waiting, right? Maybe you're a little bit impatient, right? And that's why I feel like there's a need for you to kind of do some soul searching, right? You may need to kind of go within a little bit more to figure out what's the core issue on why you're waiting so much for somebody else, guys. All right, so um, be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Absolutely, guys. So if you guys are um, still hung up on past experiences, like I said, once again, you're blocking your soulmate from coming back to you or you're blocking that soulmate from coming into you, okay? Um, so that's what I have for you, Capricorns. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Y'all know what to do. Talk to your girl. I'll talk back to y'all. Peace.